Hey guys, it's John Michael, and we're back with Alan. And today we're talking about camp trucks or pulling trucks or, right. or rigs, right? So we're gonna do a little breakdown talking about his, and he drives a what this is just, a High Country 2017 Chevrolet and 2500, 3500. This is a 2500 Duramax, and we have a 2006 F250 truck. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's it's a work truck, but um, we want to show you how we built our rigs and some of the things we've added to it and stuff we think you might want to carry when you guys are building your camp yeah, truck. I'll tell you one thing about these trucks, but we sure have fun with them. Don't Absolutely, we, don't like them. we do. Heck yeah. So I tell you what, the, the, my favorite thing to do is to camp, to be outdoors, and to have some kind of adventure. It's just what I prefer to do right. every weekend. And with the two boys, uh, of course, we pull, pull a camper, pull a boat. Uh, I wanted this truck set up so when we hook up and go, we're going to have a good time. And that, that's what we did. So this is a 2500 truck. Uh, this is a Duramax diesel, and uh, it'll pull anything I hook behind it. So I've been real pleased with it so far. All right. Uh, so. The height of your truck. Yeah, this, this truck has a leveling kit on the front. Uh, nothing big, I think we raised about two and three quarters inches in the front just to level out the ride of this truck. Uh, but these are the stock wheels, it's just stock. Everything about it, John. So when you're riding down the road, how's it sound? Like a Cadillac, super quiet. Uh, the kids are not happy about that. They wished it rolled cold and humble, <laughs> but it, it's... That's something we'll get to when we talk about my truck. Because yeah. there's advantages of it and disadvantages Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. You can hear each other when you're riding down Sure enough. So one thing we wanted was we wanted to be able to haul, haul gear on the top. So uh, on the top we have a Yakima rack system. Uh, we've got four bars, cross bars, so we can hold one or two canoes. We can hold a canoe and two kayaks. Whitewater kayaks can stack up with the stackers. There are stackers up here. And we can hold two bicycles. So no matter where we're going or what we're going to get into, man, we can haul a load up on the top. All right. It works for it. Coming on down the truck. Absolutely. So we want the eight-foot bed. And I, I am so glad that I got an eight-foot bed because we feel it slap up. Just so about. no regrets. No regrets on that. I mean, you, you got to back it in the parking place and you got to park in the back wherever right. you go. And that, that's okay. Yeah. You know, no, we're people hitting your truck, right? Uh, one thing that we did do, John Michaels, we installed an airbag system on this truck. Okay. So it's got, like a tractor-trailer truck. There are airbags on the back. Uh, there's a compressor, which I'll show you inside, um, and we can add uh, up to 40, 50 pounds of air in the back and should be able to set any boat or camper, anything I want without squatting this okay. truck. However, I don't know if we really needed it because it don't squat anyway. Right? All right. Uh, you can lift the back of the truck as much as about two inches just by adding air to the airbags. All right. All right, so camper top. Camper tops and ARE camper tops, eight foot uh, camper top. I got windows all the way around so that we can camp in it. That, that was the thought behind that. Um, this camper top, uh, we've equipped it with uh, LED lights here so that when you're setting up a campsite, you can brighten it up. Okay, pretty cool. Do you cool. use that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The ARE camper top, John Michael, uh, we ordered it carpet lined with the LED light strips. Okay. LED light strips, the rod holders, so there's always a bait caster and a couple spinning rods in here at all times. Um, but, but the coolest thing about the back of this truck is the bed slide. This is a Cargo Glide brand, and uh, this will hold 2,200 pounds of weight. And what it does is it brings all the gear out so that I don't have to climb in there every time I need something. Yeah. So this one extends 100%, we'll pull it out. Um, but over here, over here we have a small safe. Uh, this is for your whatever you need. Might, might need to lock up your firearm or your wallet or whatever. So we've got a safe mounted inside. Uh, over here I keep a bag ready to change a tire. Uh, in my travels with the news we have busted some tires. We have changed so, some tires haven't we? So we got a two-ton bottle jack. I've got you know anything you need to change a doggone tire right here. This is the control for the airbags. Okay so the airbag you can, you can lift the truck. Look at that. That's we can release the air from the truck. Depending on what I'm wanting to tow, you can raise and lower this truck to add weight to it. Okay, so the bed slide comes out eight feet. On this bed slide, I also keep a bar in case I can break a rusty lug nut loose. This is all part of this is all part of uh, changing tire equipment, right? This comes out eight feet. It'll hold all of us on the end. 
And in, anytime, anytime this truck goes, these are the things that are in here. Every, every time we go, wherever we go, this stuff is here. Um, Monica, over here we keep a ladder. This is uh, just a mini six foot extension ladder, helps me get up on the roof. We've got a little bracket here where they stay mounted. This is for tying on canoes, tying on kayaks, so that this stays here. Uh, this little Yeti uh, stays here all the time. Uh, it stays here all the time. Uh, however, it will hold a bigger Yeti. The way I've got my ratchets down, it can hold my larger Yeti or the small Yeti. Of course, I've got my new adventure sticker here. Yes, you could not have a Yeti without a new adventure sticker. Whee! All right. <laughs> Inside the Yeti is only where I keep my air hose for a quick change of tire. This is long enough to get back and change the add air to uh, any anything I'm towing. This thing will go about 30 feet. So, uh, okay. so this is how you air up a tire here, and uh, all that's powered from an onboard compressor. All right, so you got to have a toolbox. The toolbox has got everything in here that you would expect to have in a toolbox. Just about build anything you need to build with that. Uh, tackle box goes everywhere we go because you never know when you're going to find a pond, right? Okay. <laughs> this bag is where I keep my bubble rope. If you have a friend that drives a Ford or Dodge, oh. there, there will come a time you may need to pull them up a hill or out of a mud hole, and so we keep a, a bubble rope to pull friends out. There's four bag chairs in this <laughs> bin at all times. All right. Four bag chairs. Three Eno hammocks, because when I pitch one, I have to fight the kids for it. <laughs> right. Three Eno hammocks, bag chair, and then the zero gravity, because that is a chair too, right? Is, a zero, is that Mama's chair? It's my chair. Zero, okay. zero gravity chair for extra comfort. I also keep in here a pair of umbrellas, because you never know what you're going to get into. I keep a small bag chair with no arms on it for when I'm playing my banjo, because with a regular bag chair, you cannot play your banjo. This is a bike tripod, so we do a lot of bike riding, and man, it is tough, you know, changing out a derailleur, or fixing a bent, you know, bent back bracket on a bike. So this this allows me to pitch it up and hang bikes and work that on it. So this goes everywhere. I didn't know that was in there. All right, all that stays in this bin. I think he's got your feet a little bit. And that bin never comes out of the truck. I can admit defeat. Yeah, John Michael, you've been defeated. I can admit it. You've been defeated. All right, this is uh, just a hitch for pulling the boat. Of course, the camper hitch stays off. This bin here is equipped with some fun stuff. We wouldn't go anywhere without a hatchet, would we, John Michael? You never Not know when you had to cut a tree. All. We'd never go anywhere without a hatchet. Uh, different varieties of ropes for tying stuff on the top. Sometimes you gotta wipe your hand or your butt, okay? Very important. Uh, we keep with us a set of chocks. We keep with us some jumper cables. The jumper cables go with us. In here we keep Super spotlight. Good lord. <laughs> Fair enough. We keep, uh, we, we, sometimes you gotta pump grease in your boat. Okay. So we got a grease gun. Okay. All kinds of stuff in here. This stays uh, loaded for bear all the time. Ready to go. If you guys hadn't noticed yet, Alan is ready for things. He likes to have his nice stuff ready for the situation, and Alan's the type of guy that's going to help you out if you need it. So he keeps his truck stacked so that he can't help you out. So this is just an incredible example of what it can be. Um, we share some ideas together. The way we built our trucks, we do camp together a lot. So we kind of bounce ideas off of each other, and you'll see that we borrowed ideas from each other with what we carry. Um, but this is incredible. I mean, this truck is beautiful. The way you set it up, it's perfect. Good. And just, I love it. So thank you very much for letting us take a look at it. Sure enough. So our truck, we've kind of named our trucks. I don't know if we talked about that before. What's your truck called? Truck Norris. So Truck Norris, and this is Big Whitey. So um, our kids use these names and they refer to our trucks all the time. So we either riding in Truck Norris or we're riding in Big Whitey when we go somewhere. So Big Whitey, it's set up kind of similar. Uh, we do have a lift on this as well. I went four and a half inches in the front, six and a half inches in the back, just to set it up enough to offset the weight, but it sits up big. It got us on a 35 inch tire. So the 35 inch tire for me, it gives us a mud tire, which is great when we're off road. 
it's terrible when we're driving across the country. Right. Um, it hums, it's loud, you can't hear each other talking. But when we started building this truck, I was a little bit younger and I wanted it to be loud and cool. Sure. And it looks good. I'm gonna regret it now, yeah. I'm just gonna be completely honest, but um, it is what it is, so we do that. Uh, I have the step rail so the kids and everybody can get in there. Um, but just walking around the truck, we also have the ARE camper shell. I went with the wind doors. This so, is eight foot bed too, right? It is an eight foot bed. Okay. Um, we want the wind doors on ours so I can access the bed all the way around through these doors here. Um, I did also the racks on top have the Yakima racks so we can fit, I can fit one canoe, I can fit two kayaks and also have the, the, the way the stand up a kayak, what's that bar called? The stacker. The stacker, I have one of those for this truck as well. I actually got that from Alan. So um, we do that, but when we built this also, we'd throw a couple kayaks in the back of the bed for the kids because mm -hmm. they were a little bit smaller. They used sure. a smaller boat. Uh, coming on around, uh, so something with an older truck I didn't have, um, and I regret not having is a backup camera. We added one to this, but we never had good luck with it. Just be it my, I'm not an automotive wire. I couldn't figure it out. So I had some problems with that. So if I had a backup camera on that, that would be really nice. Cause I have, I don't have windows. They're solid black. You can't see through them. Um, we've added some stuff in ours as well. Uh, we also, we keep the fishing rods in there. We're set up all the time. Um, Mine's a little messier than Alan's, I've just realized. You're, you're I, I'm a lot messier, but we have similar things. So we'll just, it is what it is. Um, we have the ladder for getting up on top of it. We have the jumper cables for getting to what we need to. We got our bucket. Thunder bucket. That's right, yeah. you gotta have it. Awesome. Uh, we have several assortments of tools. So I have um, battery operated um, impact wrenches. Oh, so if we're changing awesome. a tire, we gotta be able to get that tire off quickly because it never happens when you're in a great location, change a tire. Doesn't. We've done some in the pouring rain. We've done some on the side of major highways. So we wanna get that in and out quick. We also keep a jack back here. Um, we have my main, my favorite thing. I have a 90 gallon spare fuel tank. So it's an auxiliary fuel tank in the very front of the bed. Gives me 90 gallons up there plus my 32 gallons. So I have around a thousand miles of loaded with my camper range. Yeah. I can hit a switch in the cab, hit that and keep on trucking. It doesn't stop us at all. So our billboard in our truck for wherever we go, we gotta get a sticker. We throw stickers here and then inside the cab, I'll show you what we do with it as well. See but, um, adventure sticker? Okay. Gotta have one guys. <laughs> gotta have one. Gotta have an adventure <laughs> sticker. So something I added to the side of mine is our awning. We went with the Airbnb awning. It's eight foot long, it comes out eight foot. It allows us to have another shade area. Last major thing we did, I put a hitch in the front of it. We What's did that this. For, John when we went to ride the Virginia Creeper Trail together, we put our bikes up here because I had so much stuff in the bed of the truck with the camper in the bed or in the back. I wanted a way to get the bikes down. Our bikes are getting bigger now that our kids are getting bigger. So it puts our bikes up here, out of the way, and everything's good. We also have what they call the hitch vault in there. So I can put a com or hitch safe. I'll put this a link to this in our Amazon account or in our Amazon down I've below. If you guys are interested in this, this is killer. You put a combination in here, you keep a spare key to the truck. Hmm. So when we go kayaking or whatever, I throw my keys in here, lock it up, it's secure, it's out of the way, and I don't have to carry keys with me. That's awesome. So it's quite cool. Yeah, very cool. So a couple other things. We also went with the safe in our truck. This is very handy. Not just for a firearm or something like that, but like Alan said, when you want to throw your wallet in there, something important that you want to just secure up a little bit more. So we do that with the safe. And then the WeatherTech floor, line, floor liners. Whenever we're getting in our truck, we're covered in mud. We're covered in sand. We get in and out a bunch of times when we're out playing around. So these floor liners make it easy to keep your truck clean. Not that I'm a clean freak on my truck, but it helps. So I definitely check those out if you're interested. A lot of the things we put on our trucks, we're gonna leave a link in the description box below. You can check that out, like these floor liners. Okay, uh, the back of the truck, Monica, we're, we are camping in this truck, so we keep with us camp pillows. Uh, we're sure to get dirty wherever we go, so we keep uh, towels. This stays under under the back of the truck in, in, a, in, in a tray. And of course, this has a WeatherTech full, full uh, length bed liner as well. Alan, do you really keep your truck this clean all the time? Yes, all the time. So I can attest to that, like, I, I set them up with the question, but seriously, every time I've ever seen it, it's this clean. Well, we it's, do, it's incredible, we, man. We, we do you do a good job. Can. Absolutely. It's not my daily driver, so it's easier. Still wish I could say that was my excuse. <laughs> You're killing me. Inside the truck, we keep um, a tire monitor system. And so whatever I'm towing, I can keep a visual of how much air is back there or not back there. So I keep this, that's, that stays there. Uh, inside the glove box. Does that mount up somewhere or do you it, just kind of plug it around? It has a, it has a suction cup mount right on. As, as well as a, a deck and mount. What kind did you go with on that one? Because there's several different ones online and 
and uh, have you used it yet? Uh, this is a TST, TSTruck.com. Um, this has, I've not used it yet, but I have synced everything up and it does work. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited to have that. So it gives you an alert if your pressure on a certain tire drops? Mm -hmm. And does it identify that tire? It identifies that tire. It is constantly just bopping from tire to tire, letting you know how much air is in there. It has a rapid air loss system, so it, okay. it audible alarm if you have a rapid well, loss. Well, when we had our blowout, I had no clue. And had the guy not stopped us who pulled up beside us, we'd have kept driving. You so. would have tore the whole side off your camper. Absolutely. Or well, flipped it if the other one went completely flat. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah. scary. Uh, this is the backup camera for the camper. Uh, so, of course, the camera's there. This is the monitor. I keep this in here all the time. Uh, I keep with me at all times a good knife sharpener because, you know, there's no need in having a dull knife, right, John Michael? Absolutely. Uh, every once in a blue moon, the kids will eat till they want to puke, and so we keep the puke. Oh, how cool is that? This has happened several times. <laughs> that is so smart. We keep that with us, and, of course, there is uh, a tremendous amount of good old country that you just can't find on the radio. We still buy CDs here at Smith House. <laughs> That's what we keep inside. All right, guys, thank you all so much for checking us out. Alan, thank man, you for letting us see your truck. Man, I've had a great time. I appreciate it. I'm ready for another Let's trip. Let's camping. We'll see you, bud. Good. We'll see you guys next week on the new adventure. So quiet. Is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> what you got there, Alan? I got the same stuff in my pocket Hold you have on. in your pocket. Like, if you needed to smoke, could you? I could smoke. You know what? I don't smoke, but we could, <laughs> we could, start, we could start smoking. Look said, at hang, this. On, hang on, hang on. I about got stabbed with my shard. <laughs> Shards will get you, right, guys? My pen and my bench Man. Tray, right? Hang on here. I'm so happy we right now. start smoking, I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. Yes!